Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to pass data from one view controller to another. I've got a simple setup here of just a basic empty app. Uh, we've got an app delegate and a simple view controller. What we're going to do is we're going to create a second view controller and we'll create a property on that view controller as well as a nib and then we're going to show how we can share data between one and the other. So here in the app delegate I've just set up a navigation controller uh, in it with a root controller and then I'm going to set the tint bar color where you can set it to whatever color you want and then you can set the root view controller and then make it visible but since we don't have a secondary view controller yet um, this is gonna have an error so let's go ahead and create a second view controller you can go to file new and create your second file what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new uh, objective C file as well as a header file so first let's create the header file and let's call it second view controller Make sure it's included and create. Now that's created. Let's go ahead and create our second um, source file. And you just make sure it's an empty file. Great. Now that those two are created, um, you'll see that the uh, H file here has some weird stuff. You just erase that. And what you can do is you can just copy from a regular view controller where essentially all we're going to do is we're going to copy the import. We're importing a UI kit in. And then we need an implementation. So since this class is second view controller and it's a subclass of UI view controller, that's what we're doing here. Oh, I'm sorry. This is an interface. There we go. Okay. Now we need a property here. It's going to hold the value, but we're going to do that in just a minute. Uh, first, we need to go to the M file. See, we just have a import. We also need to import in the header file that we just made. So second view controller.h. And then here is the implementation for second view controller. And we need a view to load. There we go. So now that we've got these values, uh, let's go ahead and go back to the uh, app delegate.m file. And so the navigation controller can see this, the view controller that we created, or the first view controller. We need to import it up here. And we need to declare it as well. And we're going to create a nib, so let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, in it with nib name here. And the nib's going to be called view controller. And then go down to the navigation controller and make sure it is in it with root controller, view controller. So what this is going to do is once the application loads, we're initializing our new view controller, this one, the view controller dot uh, m, and then we're going to put it inside our new created uh, navigation controller. We're going to set a navigation bar tint color just for fun. We're going to tell the window that the root view controller. The, the first view that it's going to show is going to be the navigation controller, which contains that view controller. And then we're going to tell it to make it key invisible. Let's present the thing. Now that's done, we need to create a couple uh, interface files. So for this view controller, let's go ahead and create a new file. And we want to have an interface file. So let's just create a new view call it view controller. Now that's created. We also want to make one for the second view controller. Great. Now in this view controller here, 
what we need to do is we need to make sure that this interface file knows um, who owns it. So if you click here on file owner and you go to the class, you're going to make this a view controller class. And on this one, the second view controller, the file owner is going to be second view controller. So that all that just means is that the nib knows you know where to get its data. Also, this one has a property of view which you need to just highlight and connect. So on second view controller we're telling it this is what the view is and on first view controller or the regular view controller we're also telling it what its view is. Great, so now that that's done on the view controller what we need to do is um, we need to have some kind of a value. So let's say you wanted to have a text field um, that would pass its value to the second one or you've already gotten that value, you've done some kind of calculations, then you want to pass it. So for simplicity's sake, we're just going to have a value and then we're going to go ahead and pass it. So once this view is loaded, um, we're going to have a button here. It's going to be an IB action, so an interface builder action. That means um, something that can connect to that uh, nib interface file that we just created. And we're going to call go to second view. And what we're going to do is we're going to tell the navigation controller to push the next view controller. And we need to import that second view controller up here. And then let's go ahead and declare it. Now this first view controller has some kind of data that the second view controller wants. And so what we need to do is we need to go to the H file and we need to create a property here that will be accessible to the first view controller. So let's make a and a, a string and we'll just call it data passed string. Once we go to the implementation file Let's just synthesize it. And what we're going to do is go back to the view controller now. And we need to create an NS string here, data to pass. And it's just going to be a simple um, string here, like let's pass data. And we have a warning because it hasn't been used yet. Now, we have a second view. We've initialized it. And we want to pass it to that property we just made. So second view dot data passed string equals data to pass. So what it's doing is it's saying here, this value on the second view controller is equal to the value from this view controller that we have. And again, this can be created however however you need. And then we're going to tell it to push. So once we go to the second view controller, let's create a label here. And set that up as property. It's an IB outlet. So that means we can just connect it. It's going to be a UI label text label. Once that's created as an IB outlet, we'll be able to come here to the nib file. Under the file owner, you'll see a new property text label. Go ahead and take that plus sign and just connect it to the label. And now we can assign that value. So once we go to the second value and view did load, we're going to have the, oops, let's synthesize that first. In the view to load, all we're going to do is we're going to have this text label set its text to that new data that we passed. 
Okay, so the last thing we need to do is go to this view, first view controller and just connect some kind of a button that will tell it to go to the second view controller. So here's our button. And go to second. And since we've already created that IB action, go to second view, we can connect it here. And touch up inside. Great. So now let's go ahead and build this thing. Okay, so here's our button. Go to second. Let's pass data. So again, that's that string that we declared on the first view controller. And we just declared it and sent it over. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm going to be making a ton of these videos. Uh, just let me know whatever you, else you'd like to see. And I'll be happy to make it for you. Thanks, guys.